All right, I'm joined now by Holly Molinaire, the host and founder of Ottawa Valley Boss Babes podcast, and she has been super busy the last year. COVID has not slowed her down in any way, shape, or form. So really happy to have you here today, Holly. Thank you so much, Trevor. So happy to be here to be chatting with you all about OB Boss Babes and what we've been up to this past year. It's uh, it's been quite the uh, the adventure. You have not slowed down. COVID has not been a roadblock. I mean, there has been hoops to jump through, but you've you've cleared those every step of the way. Um, what's it been like the last year? If you've seen an incredible incredible amount of growth um, over the last calendar year, what's it what's it been like? What have you been doing? Oh, Trevor, it's been amazing. I'm so excited to share with you guys. So basically, when I first started the podcast in 2020, I did not anticipate the growth and the expansion that it would have in 2022 where we are. So we started, you know, just interviewing fempreneurs across the Ottawa Valley. And to date, we've actually expanded now to Lanark County. We're including Boss Babes in uh, uh, Carleton Place and in Perth and Mississippi Mills. So that's been wonderful. Uh, we have achieved over 25,000 downloads. We have over 500 regular subscribers. We have almost 3,000 organic followers on social media combined on both Facebook and Instagram, which is just mind blowing. And so um, and the, the greatest thing, too, is that not just women are tuning in. We've got males like yourself tuning into the podcast and then as well wanting to be featured on the podcast, too. Everyone's got a story to share. And so I wanted to be inclusive and embrace everybody regardless of their gender. And so I said, you know what? If we're all boss babes in some way, shape or form, if you're doing great work and you're making an impact in your community, let's hear about it. Come talk to me. And so that's where we've grown. So I'm now producing two podcast episodes per week. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then an additional one called the uh, Baby on the Brand series, where we feature women entrepreneurs across Canada. So we featured Smash, Smash and Tess. Uh, we featured Baron Fox Apparel. They're out in Embram, Ontario. Uh, we've got... Um, Beluga Baby. We've had so many big names, which is so incredible. And I've got even more lined up for this year, including more local celebrities uh, here in the Ottawa Valley and Lanark County lined up. So uh, when you started this podcast, I mean, it's kind of a big question and there's a lot to, going on with it. But uh, when you started the podcast, did you ever think, you know, with COVID and, and all the hoops you had to jump through, um, you would be where you are now? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I'm a big dreamer. I've got a lot of ambition inside of me. I've got so many ideas. And I think being at home uh, really fueled my creativity because, you know, when a lot of people were spending their time cleaning the house, you know, once we run out of, you know, all the crevices and corners and, and baseboards to clean, then, you know, we're looking for something else. And I just find that so many entrepreneurs like myself, we all have drive. We, many of us are not just juggling one business. And now more than ever, uh, you have to be innovative and you have to be creative and you have to be a multitasker. And that's the kind of person I've always been. And so that kind of has led me now to even uh, expanding the podcast and now evolving into creating a new business, Ottawa Valley Women in Business Events, which I'm so excited to chat with you about, Trevor, because I started with my Ottawa Valley Women's Collective for International Women's Day last year. You and I worked together on that. And I just have had all these ideas being like, okay, well, whenever COVID ends, we should try to do something, you know, to have more events in the Ottawa Valley. And so that's what we're doing. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It, every, every time we have a phone call, it does, seems to be something new and exciting is, is right there. And you're, you're so excited to tell me about it. Um, it's, it's, it's great to see. The, uh, now, one little thing that's most recent, I guess, uh, is you have a little announcement in the look of the podcast. Yeah, I was actually working with one of the most sought after graphic designers in the Ottawa Valley. Her name is Amber and she her business is uh, Sweeney Curations. She has a huge wait list. So I've been actually on her wait list since last April, last May. Uh, so spring 2021, we've been working together. She's been watching the podcast. She's been tuning in, kind of watching my brand. And she just took it to a whole new level. We just announced yesterday. Uh, so OB Boss Babes got a complete refresh, um, which actually just suits our whole vision and looks so much better. So I mean, I had just created my 
uh, graphic design through Canva, like many small businesses do. And Amber just took my vision and just blew it right out of the water. So it looks more professional, it looks more fresh. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to see where, where that goes. The uh, uh, quickly, uh, just as we're on the topic, if people want to go and check out these brand new graphics and this first time they're hearing about the podcast, um, where exactly can they get the podcast? Where's the best place to, uh, to, to listen in? Whatever kind of phone you have. So if you have an iPhone, Apple podcast, if you have an Android, you can go on Spotify. Uh, same with, I mean, of course, if you have Apple as well, uh, but you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. Tune in Google podcasts anywhere we are free we are a free streaming platform so you do not have to pay but we do love when you subscribe because we get to see our numbers go up and see that you're following along cool so uh, i want to kind of transition into the uh into the last part of this now the like we were talking about before you know once covid's over getting back into the live events unfortunately we're not quite there yet things are getting closer um but uh, you do have an event coming up uh this weekend in particular it's a virtual event um tell me about it and how people can uh can get involved and listen in Absolutely. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we had our International Women's Day, our Ottawa Valley Women's Collective last year, where we had discussions with uh, with several women and we wanted to do that again this year. Uh, unfortunately, due to the circumstances, we did not think we'd be opening up this early. Uh, otherwise, it would have been in person, but we are doing a virtual panel discussion. So we're going to be talking about gender equality, Trevor, and not just in the workplace, although that is huge. Um, we're going to be talking about how families are having conversations with their children about gender equality. You know, anything from um, growing up, well, this is what my mom did. You know, well, my mom always cleaned the house. My mom always made dinner. My dad did all the outside yard work. Like, we are evolving as, as humans. And so it's not just, um, it's not just a male dominated world anymore. Like women are, are, taking over and we're doing so much more and I want to be having these conversations. So we're talking about, you know, how we can build gender equality uh, in the communities, again, at home with our kids, in schools, and then of course in the workplace as well. So it's going to be a two hour long conversation. You can join us on Zoom the day of the event on March 5th uh, from one to three o'clock. If you don't have time on Saturday, we totally get it. We want to be able to offer this to be able to still provide a fun experience. So you can check it out on YouTube or you can listen to the episode all on audio through the podcast on Monday, March 7th. Awesome. Now, uh, there was one more uh, event coming up in the future that we, we kind of teased about. I'm not going to wreck it. If there's, no, if there's a secret that's being kept, I do not want to be the one to leak it. Um, is there anything you can tell us uh, you know, leading on to the next couple of months? Trevor, I don't like keeping secrets. You know that I love sharing news and we actually are going to be announcing this very, very soon. We have a Women Who Mean Business event coming up on May 6, 2022 in Petawawa and our keynote speaker is Shannon Slaughter from Hyundai Pembroke. We are super excited to feature her. If you guys do not know Shannon, she is a huge community supporter. She has done so much for our community. You constantly see that on their socials. They are supporting local businesses. She also what would appear comes from a family of privilege, right? You know, she comes from a family owned business and she is the general manager there. And that is not the case. She has had to work her way up to the top. So she's going to be talking about that at our keynote uh, event. And we do have another guest speaker in mind, but that we're keeping hush hush because we're super excited about who it is. Awesome. Awesome. It did. Like I said before, it never ends. Um, if you're not on the wave of the Ottawa Valley Boss Face podcast, this is the time to get on it because um, it's only getting bigger and better. Um, all the best, Holly, uh, in the future. I know it's going to be uh, it's going to be bright. You're driving forward constantly. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much, Trevor. And I always appreciate all of your support.